Phil, many congratulations. Back to back promotion secure today. Just sum up your feelings. Yeah, immensely proud of, of everybody connected with the club um, because uh, it's not easy to, to get back to back promotions. Um, it's been a huge team effort from everybody who works at the club, obviously the owners, um, all the staff, um, all, every single player has made a contribution um, and the supporters as well because, you know, they've stuck with us. You know, it hasn't always been plain sailing because it's been a tough league and we had an indifferent start, but through difficult times they stayed with us, kept the belief and, and they deserve th this moment t tonight. And, uh, you know, it's a very proud moment for myself and all the staff. Uh, but we always speak to everybody about how everybody's got to pull together in a football club to achieve days like this. And we've certainly had that for, from day one I came in. Back to back promotions is history making for the club and yourself. Just where is that spirit? How good is that spirit in the group and also for you to lead them as well? I think the, the, the spirit, but the mentality to produce two of the best performances of the season on Tuesday night and backed it up today um, is a great tribute to the lads and the staff as well. Because, you know, sometimes you see games at this stage of the season become frantic um, and people go away from the game plan but we really stuck to what we needed to do choose against Crawley and, the, and then today and you know we, we spoke about the last time we played Forest Green could we learn from that game could we improve from it and, and we certainly did and it was an emphatic win for us. For you personally securing back to back promotions what does that mean to you? No obviously so much because um, you know, promotions and Getting over the line at the end of the season is hard. It, it is because everybody has wanted to beat us this season, as, as, as we know, and you know the publicity we got last year that you know teams have had that extra edge to, to beat us. But yeah, to, to finish the job off in, in the style we've done it this week uh, with the three wins is uh, you know something like I'm immensely proud of. Going into today, it was always important that we focused on our own job and performance, and we did so in style, didn't we? Yeah, that, exactly that. It's, you know, I, I came into the game today thinking, you know, let's concentrate what we've got to do, obviously, not really expecting that those results to both go in our, our favour. And I think that's probably the best way to do it. My mind was on going to crew next week and, and having to finish the job off. And obviously I could sense for the crowd it was it was it looked like a good day for us, but it wasn't until a couple of minutes to go, my son who's uh, one of our analysts said, George, you know, give me the rundown and he, and he told me the scores and you know that was a great moment. And I suppose from a, from the backroom staff perspective, another promotion for you and Steve, it just shows again, doesn't it, what can be done in football? Yeah, listen, as a manager, you need really good people with you, uh, above you, uh, but with you in, in, in the staff. And uh, I'm very fortunate to have outstanding people with me because, uh, you know, manager, any football club can be tough at times, uh, but I've got great people um, great at the job, but also good, solid characters with me. And, uh, you know, it's a pleasure to come in every day and work. In terms of the game again, we spoke about brilliant moments that have happened in the last week, uh, particular. Ryan Barnett, again, another brilliant goal from him today. And Jack Marriott is first for the club too. Yeah, so pleased for Ryan. I mean, he'll, I'm sure he'll tell you himself that we've been speaking to him about getting into those positions. And over the last month or so, he's had more chances and uh, you felt a goal was coming. He got it Tuesday and... Um, that finish didn't surprise me today because he is a good finisher. It's just when you wait for that first goal to come, obviously it become it can become a thing which kind of plays on your mind a bit. But now he's off and running, um, so pleased. And Jack Marriott, you know, that's a great moment for him and for us. We brought him to the club. He's worked tirelessly in the games he's played, but the, the moments haven't come. But like I said, you know, you've got to keep plugging away, making the right runs as a striker, and it came for him. So all the lads were delighted for him. And the, the sheer elation and jubilation at the final whistle just shows how much the club and the town are intertwined, doesn't it? Exactly. There's a great connection with, with the supporters and, and the club. And, you know, I think Wrexham will be quite lively tonight. And uh, you know, I want all the, the supports to savour this because uh, it's very special. Thank you, Phil. Thank you.